If you take something that's broken and manage to fix it to make it work, that for me is the ultimate satisfaction. Now imagine taking two things that don't work and making them work. Double the satisfaction. Trust me when I say that a year ago, I didn't think I'd be able to do this. I purchased not one, but two Xbox One faulty consoles. For both of them, I paid hundred pound on eBay. Am I gonna be able to fix none, one, or both of them? Let's find out. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a faulty one terabyte Xbox One console. I purchased it for £42 on eBay. Postage was £9.99. The listing states that it's being sold as faulty due to the HDMI port not working. They also don't know of any other known faults because they haven't been able to test. Let's check out the condition of this one. One terabyte Xbox One, going for that price is really good, but this one also has a really cool case. Look at this. The condition of it isn't great, it's got quite a few scuff marks, but let me put it this way, it could be a lot worse. I think this looks wicked. Look at the front of this console. Wow. Ah, oh, somebody's not putting something back together properly. Look at this, we have our first fault. Maybe someone took it apart to clean it. Well, uh, judging from that, maybe not clean, but someone's taken it apart and not put this back properly. Or this might be evidence of a fall, perhaps, which is why the HDMI port doesn't work at the back. Maybe the console fell and it snagged at the port. We have ourselves a very dusty console. How is the port looking? That's the question. You can see that clearly there's some damage to the outer casing, but as for the actual pins, I'm going to have to take it apart a bit more to have a look. But the pins themselves look, on the face of it, okay. This plastic around here seems to be bent. Oh, I mean, that's that's not even plastic. It's like a, it's a really thin plastic. So I thought it was like a heavy plastic, which is bent, but it's just a thin, thin sheet. And like I said, the pins look fine. Hmm. A note for all you guys out there as well, this is definitely been taken off and just put back on, because you can see, look at this. Yeah, it's definitely been taken off before. I mean, they've done a good job of putting it back, but it's been taken off. Let's take it apart and see what we got. I'm not gonna show you the whole disassembly, but this is where the dust usually resides on an Xbox One, from what I found anyway. And there we go. <laughs> I was not wrong. You did not disappoint. I've only just taken the top case off and the unit itself seems fine. It's a little bit dusty, but I've definitely seen a lot worse. I'm just gonna plug the power in and we're gonna test it. Fan spins, does it turn on? Yes. We do have a light down here. As you can see on my thumb, the LED light spinning up. Definitely doesn't sound healthy though. There's a small ticking noise. I'm just gonna plug it into HDMI now to test. Nothing shows up. That scared the life out of me, by the way. Why didn't it make that noise on startup? We're now gonna take the next layer of the console off. Now what I'm gonna do first of all, we have our Samsung one terabyte disk drive here. I'm just gonna place a Toshiba 500 gig hard drive in replacement of it. The reason I'm saying that is because the HDMI port on the back looks okay on the face of it. Sometimes the console doesn't display because of a hard drive issue. But saying that, the ones that I've seen usually turn off after a certain amount of time. But there is no harm in testing the hard drive now before we get down to the nitty gritty. So I'll just disconnect this. Take that out, place this one in, dangle it over there, which probably isn't a wise idea. I'm gonna put the power in, turn the console on. Again, put the HDMI cable in, and I've got an image. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. We got E106, which is a pretty standard error. I know it sounds silly, I'm gonna plug the other hard drive in and just check. I'll leave the webcam on this time so you guys can see my disbelief if this works. I doubt it's going to, and we probably just had a faulty hard drive, but now I'm really glad I checked. I've just powered on the console. Is it gonna show up? Probably not. Just to confirm, this is the original hard drive, the one terabyte one, that's now plugged in the system. My name's not Mark. It works fine. Let me, uh, I'm just gonna wiggle the port and see if that flickers the display or anything. I'll give it some further tests and I'll play some games and stuff on it, but um, that seems to be fine. There is that really annoying sound though that you can hear from this fan. I literally changed nothing other than just removing the HDMI and putting it back in. I'm now just gonna completely disassemble this and get the fan out so we can sort that noise. As I'm taking the Xbox apart, this little green plastic piece has just fallen out. So my guess is that that was stuck or lodged in the fan, causing that horrendous noise. So I'm quickly just gonna turn it back on again just to confirm that that was the issue. Look at the state of my gloves. Regardless, I'll take the fan off and give it some new thermal paste, etc. I just want to confirm. We got the initial fan spin. Does it make that horrendous noise anymore? Yes, it does. So it wasn't that green plastic piece. I've just unhinged these two clips. I've never actually taken apart one of these fans before. I can't see any bits, to be honest, on this fan, annoyingly that would make that noise. Mental note that the sticker is 
where the plug goes because if I get this the wrong orientation, I suck. What I'm going to really quickly do is see if the problem lies with this or whether it's something in the heat sink that is causing that noise. So in theory, if I just plug the fan in, put this here, I just want to see if the fan's making the noise or the heat sink. Let's check this out. So that spins, let's turn it on. It turns straight off. I'm going to guess that's because it hasn't got the cooling. CPU's not hot. Maybe it's because the hard drive isn't in. You can still hear it, right? I can still hear it. I've just done a little bit of an inspection as well and I can't see anywhere where it would be hitting against the sides or making this noise at all. And in fact, when I spin the fan, it doesn't make the noise. As you can hear, nothing, regardless of what way. So in my head, there's something going on on the inside and I don't know how to get to that point. Logically, I think the best thing to do in this scenario is to just replace this fan. Keep the same heatsink, because why not? But just grab a donor board and take the fan off of it and use it for that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I've just switched over the fans. I wanna make sure that the noise is gone. So I'm just gonna plug the hard drive in. And then I'm gonna plug the power in, make sure this is stable, plug the power in. Okay, we get a little nudge. Okay, here we go. Any noise? We have fan spin. Silent fan spin, I should add. Wicked. I'm gonna give it a clean, put some new thermal paste on, test it off of the video, and probably test this one terabyte hard drive in my PC, just to make sure that it is 100% healthy. Let's move on to console number two. This one I purchased for $39.99 and the fault states it's being sold for spares and repairs and it won't come on anymore. No idea what's wrong with it. That's it. So this console doesn't power on. So let's put some power in it and give it a test. This one does say as well that the factory seal is intact, which it looks as if it is. Let's get a good look at that. Is that, has that been put back on? No, I think that's actually factory seal. That, that is properly on. So nobody has been inside this machine. Back of it looks pretty good. Condition wise, nice. A few like random spots here, but nothing that won't clean up. Again, a little bit dusty, but we can get that off. The back of the console looks fine. A little bit of a sticky residue here. So let's plug the power in and see what happens with the power supply. This is meant to go white and stay white. So I've just put the power in. So we get a white light. Does it turn to orange is the question. It does. Does the Xbox turn on? No. Oh. Surely not. Surely not. I don't quite Adam and Eve it. This is just on and working, as you can see. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put a HDMI cable in and see if it pops up on the display. Where's the hood of my cable? There it is. Right, I'm gonna plug the HDMI cable in so we'll be able to see if we get an image. I bet we will do because this was supposedly no power, not no image. So I'll just plug HDMI in. And there we go. <laughs> Why is the question? Can we put it to 1080p? Yep, no problems. Does it take a disc? It does. Does it recognize a disc? It does, and it installs it. Oh no, I've just tested everything on this console, disk drive, Wi-Fi, everything, and it seems to work flawlessly. On another day, I purchased two Xboxes, and none of them work. Sometimes, that's just the way that the cookie crumbles. Is a line from what movie? Leave it in the comment section down below. Have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.